to everlasting the heavens are your throne and the earth is your footstool and your kingdom shall have no end you are God who stirs up the seas and you make the waves roar your name is almighty this morning we worship you oh God we honor your name that is above every other name it stands alone matchless we crown you with many crowns, O oh God. Yeah. And we call you sovereign on earth and sovereign in our lives. Ritate so manginda o yako jengo tito. Lize ika malako li bajazwe li busi swe. Amen. Amen. I greet you saints this wonderful day. In the name of Jesus, amen. I want to read to you Psalms 5, verse 3 in the Passion Translation. It says, At each and every sunrise you will hear my voice as I prepare my sacrifice of prayer to you. Every morning I lay out the pieces of my life on the altar and wait for your fire to fall upon my heart. I love, I love the scripture. It, it says, that this author is setting aside time, dedicating their heart, setting aside time for God. Yeah. And I want to encourage you this morning that you do not just walk by in life. You actually prepare yourself for an encounter with the Lord. Yeah. And this morning as we are going to receive the word of God, I pray that you may, you may prepare your heart. Prepare the altar of your heart to receive the word of God because it is through his word that our lives are changed. It is through his word that we are encouraged in a time of need. So this morning, may you not think of this day as an ordinary day. May you not think of this time as an ordinary time. But this is a precious moment where God can speak and strike right to your heart and minister to every need that you have and over and above need and stir up purpose in your heart that you may actually find value in breathing, find value in life and see the goodness of the Lord even in this land of the living. So I encourage you this morning to receive the word of God and may it change and transform your life. As I continue, I just want to um, share the announcements. Uh, we have prayer sessions uh, every week on Mondays and Thursdays and if you'd like to be part of that, you can just send a message Otherwise, they will be shared on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, and on uh, YouTube. If you also need prayer and counseling, we have a team, a dedicated team of intercessors and, and a counseling team. These guys are ready to minister to you. They are also ready to stand with you. Uh, so I want to say that do not run, do not hide in whatever you are going through, but know and reach out know that there are people who are willing to stand with you and believe God for you. Amen. Amen. And lastly, for those who'd like to give, uh, donate, tithe, uh, and, 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 and put in their offering, uh, the banking details will be shared right there on your screen so you can uh, participate and pay your tithes or, or do your offering this morning. May you be blessed as we are going to continue our service today. I want to say that uh, today we have 
uh, our special uh, old senior pastor, Pastor Kayam Teto from Oasis Church, Mlazi. We are excited. Uh, we know that every time he, he delivers a word, he is not just prepared, but he's quite sensitive to the Spirit of God. And, and therefore, we know we're already expectant. Uh, to receive uh, an impactful word. So this morning, uh, get yourself geared up, get your notebook, get your Bibles ready, prepare yourself to receive the word of God and be blessed. Uh, over to you. Amen. Amen. Oh, what a lovely honor, what a privilege to be here. I'm Sanji. Greetings to the Oasis family and Johannesburg, wherever you're watching this broadcast from. It's a privilege and an honor for me to be here today. I'd like to greet Mfundi Swetu. Uh, I'd like to greet Mfundi Swetu and kind of appreciate him for being so consistent and being so diligent and being so honorable. Uh, we honor Mfundi Swetu and we, we thank God that he is the man that he is uh, with the family that he has. Uh, I don't think you guys understand how privileged you are to be served by a man who has integrity, um, who is a visionary, um, who loves people, who loves his family, um, and who has been tested uh, and tried and came out like gold. And because, because of that, he, scripture says he deserves double honor. Uh, scripture teaches us that um, we, we must, we must pay tribute uh, he is the angel of God that God has sent. How can you say you love God if you don't love the man God has sent? Sure. Uh, and and by that, we really honor Mfundisi for that, for just helping us, equipping us, encouraging us. He's an older brother to me. And with that, I give great honor to him. That's some shout out. Once again, um, I'm going to shoot straight into the word. Hopefully, I'm not going to be too long. Uh, I'm, I, I'm so happy to preach with an audience. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. The worship was amazing. That worship was just it was phenomenal. And it's just, I hope that you're experiencing the presence of God as we're experiencing it here. We just could have con continued to do it. We could have just gone on and on and on and on um, um, because of what uh, was happening there. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, dive into scripture this morning and uh, Mpundisi has charted the waters in, in, in us following Jesus. Uh, and I was listening to one, of, to one of his sermons that he preached uh, last night as I was just trying to prepare myself a bit. And it, it is a tricky subject. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a very tricky subject because we live in an age where it's easy to follow people. Mm. It's, it's, there's access to follow anybody that you want. You, know. um, there's, you can follow anybody. Yeah. You can unfollow anybody. Yeah. You can. It's it's really up to you. There, there is no there is no parameter now. There is no distance in following people. The question is, do you believe in those people? Sure. Um, because it's easy to follow. Yes. Um, but it, the question is, do you believe? Are you are you subscribed because you share um, the same sentiments with those people? Or are you subscribed just as a viewer, uh, or as an onlooker, as a criticizer? Because you can follow and criticize. Okay. Uh, you can you can follow and love. You can follow and hate. You know. So there are many dynamics to following. That's why I'm saying it's such a it's a brilliant subject um, that we have to approach not just from a surface, but really kind of hope God can really challenge us in finding out are we really following? Uh, because we live in a culture where it's easy to say I follow Jesus. Yeah, but do you really follow Jesus? Can we trace Jesus from your life and be able to uh, decipher if that is really true? So with me, help me today. Let's go into scripture. Scripture I'm going to read is a bit weird, but just help me. Just, just stay with me. Um, John chapter 6, verse... 66. I won't let you be. Uh, John chapter 6, verse 66. It reads in the NIV, it says, From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. <laughs> Let's see, from this time. Many, I, not spectators, yeah. not people that were just passers by. Mm -hmm. It's in many of his disciples. Mm -hmm. From this time, many of his disciples 
turned back and no longer followed him. Yeah. Father, we thank you for your word yes. this morning. We appreciate your presence to minister freely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for your presence. Apart from you, we cannot do nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, we thank you, Father God, that we will only speak what we hear the Father say. Mm -hmm. We thank you for allowing us to speak with sincerity, speak, Father God, to an audience of one. Minister to your people, Father God. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. There are many ways of following Jesus. And Fundis covered it, um, you know, in depth. Many, many ways. And if I could highlight a few, we could look at following Jesus from a perspective of following him through the word. Yeah. John chapter 1 says that in the beginning there was the word. And the word was with God. The word was God. The word became flesh and made its dwelling up amongst us. In other words, mm -hmm. when you follow the word, you follow Jesus because the word is, became flesh. The yes, word, yeah. you cannot say you're following Jesus apart from following the word. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, 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 you have to then, you have to then, you cannot, you cannot be divorced to the scripture mm -hmm. and claim that you love or follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, you, 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 the word became flesh. Mm -hmm. So this very thing, as it's not a book, it's a person. So we're, we're really reading uh, uh, and really discovering Uti Unguba Niena, Utina, Uzenze, Uzi manifeste Ganjani, Empiluenze, so that we can be able to be Him, so that we can be made, so that we are the Word. Amen. We've been made flesh. Uh, those that are born of God, you know, uh, overcome the Word, overcome the world. So we we are born of God. So I come from the word. I am the word. I, I'm born of God. I am the word. Scripture is very clear that if we're going to follow God, we have to be in obedience. Yes. We have to honor him. You can't follow someone that you are in, you are in constant tension with. Uh, you cannot follow someone. Many things. Uh, you cannot follow something. The Bible says, the Bible says uh, prayer. Look, you, you cannot, we cannot speak about following Jesus without prayer. Yeah. I cannot be following you and not communicate with you. Yeah. That's a subject here on its own. Uh, worship. Worship is following him. He, we know that we are, we are, when we're in his presence, we are, able, we are able to immerse ourselves in him because his presence is him. Uh, his presence is not a thing that's apart from him. So when we sense his presence, that's him. His presence is his form being made manifest. So apart from worship, how are you in him? Faith. You cannot follow him without faith. Um, uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Those that come to him must believe that he is. And he is. And so you cannot follow someone that you don't believe in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So those scriptures amaze me. And my, the title of my sermon is, Don't Just Follow, Believe. Yes. I, I want to talk about that. My, my yes. title today is, Don't Just Follow. Yeah. <laughs> believe. Amen. And I'm going to show you today that there are many people that followed Jesus, but did not believe. <laughs> so our churches are full of people that are programmed to follow but they don't believe and I'll prove to you that they do not believe but they are following why because we live in a culture where it's easy to follow you've been programmed to wake up in the morning and do church not because you really wanted to not because you're going to really listen not because you're really going to apply no you're a zombie You've been programmed that this is what I do every Sunday morning. At least now, no one is forcing you because So at least now you have a bit of a choice. But most of the people that are in our pews in Pundisi are not coming because they made a choice. They are programmed. It has nothing to do innately that we have really come to the place where we met Christ and made a decision that this is me for the rest of my life. Yeah. 
we were uh, uh, let's go to second kings utu elijah how long will you waver between two opinions if god is god serve him how long will you all will you waver between two opinions utu joshua choose ye this day whom will you serve but as for me and my house Ask for me. No, no one can decide for you. Ask for me. Yeah. And my house. We are going to serve the Lord. Yeah. And so the question that we have to ask ourselves is, do we really believe as we are, being, as we are said to be followers? Because I, I can be silly now and be like, do we really? I, I, sat, I sat around this week just thinking about this message. I think, do I really believe that Noah had an ark? No, 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 I had to, I had to think, do I really, really believe that, do I really, really believe he really took every two species of animals into that ark? Do I really, is that, is that a, is that for me, is that just another cartoon story? Do I really believe that Elijah, there were chariots of fire, something I've never seen, that came to pick him up. Do I really, do I really, do I really believe that Moses opened the Red Sea? <laughs> I know these are silly questions, but we have to ask ourselves, Ugoti, are we not just reading a fictional novel when we are in the Word? With its fiction characters? Or are we really standing there, really, um, because if you really believe, something should be happening in your life. Yeah. And the measuring line of what you believe is the results that you have in your life. That's the measuring line. So if we stand here and we're like, David killed Goliath. No, but do you really, is that another story that you learned in, 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 in primary school, in Sunday school? Or is that something where you're like, no, I'm going to slay my giants. Where you live by that scripture. Because that's the question, ladies and gentlemen, that we have to ask ourselves. Is when we are in the scriptures, are we really in there because we believe? Or have we subscribed to the notion that... Yeah it's, yeah, it's just a story. And we can be pushed by scientists. And enough television. And enough, and enough people that are going to criticize to the point where now they are yeah, going to, I... I going to, I going to... Yeah, but a little reaction is that that's the most truthful you've ever been in your life. Because it really counts for yeah. So the enemy wants us to be followers, but is fighting us from being believers. No, the enemy is like, no, flat the church, follow him. follow, but just don't believe. Don't believe. No one, scripture says, no one can serve two masters. Matthew chapter 6, 24. So in other words, you cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and money. Whatever the case might be, we can say you cannot serve your God and your own opinion. You cannot serve God and what your friends say. You cannot serve God and what, what is prescribed by the theology of the world. Uh, let me, let's give a couple of examples. You, if we say we serve God, I say money in Gobal, about the spirit of money. Only getting on. Yeah, you know why? Because you're a follower, you don't believe. It's, sim it's as simple as that. Look, I'm, I'm here to just tell you. It's as simple, it's as simple and as restful as that. You simply, you simply, it's the measuring line. You don't believe. Yeah, it's as simple as that. So if we are going to be, you can say example in Gemach. Because the Bible says, given it shall be given unto you. The Bible, first of the man is competing, I tithe, I tithe. You know why it's in that conversation? It's because you do not believe. And scripture says you have made the word of God of no effect. That means, you have made it of no effect. Why? Because of your traditions. Because you have made it of no effect. And so you've diluted the power of the scriptures. So where you're supposed to be receiving increase because you're activating the scriptures in your life, you have diluted its power. Number two, you believe it's a knowledge reaction. You're not giving out of faith. 
You're not giving, yeah, yeah. you're not holding this thing saying, God, I know that you will come yeah, through. Yeah. You, no one can afford to nigella vele. I vele, I, oh, oh, it has nothing to do with the sacredness. Men, mm. of nigel, so uncomfortable. Why? Because you don't believe. If I believe we will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So you do, oh, the first thing you think about is a pharmacy. Okay. I'm proving to you that you follow, but you don't believe. Jalo and I'm going to you don't go to the scriptures, you don't take holy communion, you don't say by his stripes you are healed. Why? Because you are a follower, you're not a believer. And I'm here to challenge us. Uguti, we have to be single-minded. We have to be single-minded about this thing. And I'm going to go into scripture. Scripture says in Mark chapter 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Scripture says in Mark chapter 3. Uti, uti, oh, no, James. Uti, a, 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 a double-minded person can receive nothing from God. James chapter 1. Uti, a double-minded person. So, now, I'm going to say, 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 It's either I am the Lord that healeth thee, or I am the doctor that healeth thee. I'm not against medication, but choose ye this day. Make up your mind. Whom will you serve? John chapter 6, Uti, a house that is divided against itself cannot stand. So in other words, the reason why Impilo to Z out of work the imbalanced is because our house is divided. Yeah. Sure. A, a house that is divided against itself yeah. cannot stand. Mm. I can't cast out a devil with the spirit of a devil. Sure. Because that means I'll be against yeah. the kingdom. Yes, mm. sure. Because Bible accused. But no, who keep my demon in Gomorrah by Isabel? What's the a kingdom divided against itself? Cannot stand. Mm-hmm. So, in other words, let me flip it now. A kingdom, you as a kingdom. Yeah. Oh, okay, you are you, you are a kingdom. Yeah. Seek ye first the kingdom. You come from a kingdom. Yes, sir. You represent a kingdom. Yes, sir. You are a royal priesthood, yeah. a holy nation. Yeah. You are a kingdom, yeah. a chosen generation. You are a kingdom, a kingdom hey. divided against itself. A house, umama corner. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Make up, let's make up our minds as we are following Jesus. Are we really, are we single-minded? Are we single-minded about lentes funugienza or noma si dala matais? No, si si klende rashin roulette. Bah, we'll see how it goes. We've handed ourselves over to fate. Consider how far you have fallen. I Consider how far you have fallen. Okay. Because you have to always adjust yourself. As we check with the other in this area. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. And, and, no, honestly, I'm informing you. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. I need getting on getting on Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Getting a renewal in the area. As Finalists, we have to get to the point and consider how far we have fallen. When Jesus is Sabalan de Baches, Impilenja Lengi Pila, I'm mm. saying. Consider. Several mm. hundred poster, man, poster, why you post to trial. Hey, God, you want to imagine a minimum of doing this. Hey, 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 hey. You're just speaking on. You want to speak to the man, you call us a sea fish. Master's not a new thing. I very. I want the Oxo and Zek. Okay. Consider. How far you have fallen. Sure. Let's go to our scripture saying Yava. Utu Jesu, from this time, many of his disciples. Now let's watch this. It's in many of his disciples. Let's backtrack. If you read John chapter 6, the first thing that you'll find there is the multiplication of bread. Mm-hmm. 5,000 loaves are being multiplied. The second thing that you're going to find in, in John chapter 6 is Jesus walking on the water. Yeah? yeah? yeah. 
and they are having an argument with the sink as you. I to just like I just multiplied plate and Zakuma and Singo Manch. Be careful of the leaven of the Pharisees. In other words, be careful of the That's influence. Really good. That's really of religion. Influence in Utu Jesu. Hey. Hey, wake up and smell the coffee. I am the bread of life. He says, I am the bread of life. And has Ganga, John chapter 6. Consistently, he's like, I am the bread. And man, it's more, it's more, that was me. So, in other words, now, I'm going to the scripture. Eat my flesh. Drink my blood. And I call him a home communion. Uti, immerse myself, immerse yourself in me. Believe. Believe in me. Okay, uh, I'm going to read another scripture. The Holy Spirit just brought it to my attention. I see it John chapter 6. Uh, it wasn't on my notes, but let's just, two minutes. Let's indulge the Spirit of God about this. Utu uh, Chesu, towards the end. verse 63 Uti. the spirit gives life yes. the flesh counts for nothing the words I have spoken are spirit and they are life Beseti. yet there are some of you who do not believe <laughs> Uti, the words that I speak he's speaking to his disciples but Sakon, they've just seen him do all these miracles heal multiply the bread walk on the water they've seen all these miracles happen in front of them the words that i've speak he, sp- he spoke the sermon on the mount on the mount words that he spoke they are spirit and they are life yet there are some of you You are here. You are following me. But you do not believe. You do not believe. Besetige. Little verses. Besetige. Besetige. Eat my flesh. Drink my blood. Now, Mazi. Uti Bona. Gi lendo eni dinghai. I have forgiven your sins. Eat my flesh. <laughs> Lend your, I, I, I just pondered on this thing of eating. Because he's not, he's not doing a sermon on Holy Communion. Uti, believe in me. He consume me. Till Lendo ends up, Ubuka went and it brings nourishment. He consume it till Lendo a mean in nourish in Piloyaco without a shadow of a doubt was the mean. And games are easy to play. Consume yourself with me. Best little paper from this time. Many of his disciples, not spectators, not unbelievers, not young Christians, people that have been with Christ, they've seen everything. That means you can be in a place, in this church, but don't believe. Watch every Sunday, but don't believe. Because it's in the scriptures. The Bible says they turned back. You know why we turned back? Because... See, I'm correct. Okay. Why are we correct, Lord Jesus? Because the Bible says this. Yeah, the disciples responded that this was too much for them. <laughs> but I responded that this is a bit too heavy. Why? Because if you don't believe, you want baby stuff there. Okay. Yeah. okay. You want you want to be comfortable. When you don't believe, ufuna vele in your ezo pila we expectation yako. You want the pastor to preach what you want to hear. 
you don't want to be called out. Why? Because this actually, see, we're baby Christians. We don't really believe, so we're being fed consistently. We haven't made up our minds. Guti, this is us. My principles I'm loud. In the respect me. In the time I'm going to go this is how I'm going to treat my finances. This is how I'm going to respect people in my life. You haven't made up your mind. Because you have not eaten his flesh. You have not consumed yourself with him. So, don't just follow. Believe. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Don't just follow. Believe. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom. Don't just follow. Believe. By his stripes, I was healed. Don't just follow. Believe. The steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. So if you lose your job, don't just follow. Believe. And my God shall supply with your empty fridge all of my needs. Don't just follow. Believe. We walk by faith and not by sight. Don't just follow. Please, believe, please, believe. You shall say to this mountain, be thou removed. Don't just follow. Come on, believe. No man has this good thing to And your soul will be over when I'm not. Don't. Just follow. Believe. When I pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. Don't just. Every good <laughs> and perfect comes from Don't just don't just follow. Lastly, for I know the plans I have for this is the you might be watching this and you you don't believe today I want to I want to bring you to the to the place where you will cross the line and believe where our churches will be filled with believers believers vision. You are a follower. You are a follower. Belief starts with a relationship. It's not an emotional thing. Because believing is hard. Believing is eat my flesh. Carry my cross. Utsupostoli. Paul, I am a prisoner of this gospel. Prisoner. Believing is hard because you stand there and everything is against what you want. Faith is 
the substance of things hoped for. I believe. For we know. I believe. I believe. So whether it's an education, whether it's a bill, whether it is a sickness, whether it is a marriage, I don't I don't care what you believe. Believe. Father, we hand ourselves over to you today. We want more of you, Lord. We're like that man, Lord. That when we were about to heal his son that was epileptic, and you asked him, Do you believe? And he responded, He says, Well, my unbelief. And today we realize that there are so many areas of our lives. Unbelief. This kind, not this kind of epilepsy, this kind of unbelief comes out only by prayer and fasting. And Father, we hand ourselves over to you to prayer. Help our unbelief. We want to follow you fully believing in you, fully immersed in you. Knowing, Father God, that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. Strengthen our hands. Strengthen our knees. Encourage us to fight the good fight of faith. Help, Father God, those that are growing tired. That have thrown the towel. Where everything seems like nothing is going to come out of it. We thank you, Father God, that the mountain of the hill of the Lord is going to be exalted. I thank you that saviors are coming down, mighty God, from Mount Zion, mighty God. I thank you, mighty God, that rivers of living water are beginning to flow deep inside of them so that they can drink of the living waters. You said you are the bread of life. So if we are tired, if we are hungry, we really just need bread that is you. In Jesus' name, we thank you for this word. Strengthen us. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, to our senior pastor from Oasis, Mlazi, Pastor Akayam Teta. Thank you so much for that word. Liti uh, Guti that we must not just follow, but we must believe. And I, and I just hope and pray that all of us have been challenged with this word, being able to do introspection and identifying areas in our lives where we can invite the Holy Spirit to bring to our awareness that when we come into prayer and come into fasting, we may bring our unbelief before Him, that our lives may be changed our minds may be renewed and that we may look forward to the transformative power of God activated in our lives. Fundisi, be blessed. Thank you so much for that word. Really appreciate you as a church at Oasis Church Johannesburg. I want to say to you, wherever you are, may you have a great week this week. May you be blessed uh, even in your work, with your families. Uh, may you be aware of the Spirit of God working in your life. And may you not just walk and live and breathe, but may you walk in purpose as this is the year of prayer in our lives. In Jesus' name, stay blessed.